Hi, this is Shane and welcome to a brand new series. This is... and I've forgotten what it is. Let's have a look. Um, Omnifactory, that's it. <laughs> My mind just went blank. Yeah, this is a brand new series. Um, you can either play it as a, um, a Skyblock or in the Lost Cities. And it's based on um, the Greg Tech type uh, modded Minecraft, which I have never played. I've always heard all about it. And it's something that I've wanted to try, but I know that Greg Tech is very grindy. So apparently this is supposed to be less grindy. You start off with um, four, diamond hammer, four diamond mining hammers from Thermal Foundation. Actually, I didn't even look to see how... Let me let me have a look. Diamond... Uh, can I see it in the list? There it is. Yeah, I mean, it's relatively simple, but you've got to find diamonds, obviously. Um, you start off with those, you get a scanner, which I have here, which you use to scan for nearby points of interest, meaning lots of ore. And there's tons of ore in the world i mean like tons and tons at the moment i have it on peaceful because i just wanted to um because every building in the lost cities i don't know if you guys have ever played in the lost cities cities but if you don't know every building has spawners and to be honest to start out because i've only been playing for about 20 minutes and I didn't really want to be fighting monsters before I did anything else. So I spawned over there in the middle of a city. It's about 400 blocks away. And pretty much every single building has multiple spawners. This building that I'm in is the first building I came across that had no spawners. But um, it does have four floors and it was all very poorly lit. As you can see, I have F7 on so that I could see where to light it up and I'm debating whether to play this on easy or as I usually do or um, on peaceful because I mean I want to enjoy the pack I want to um, I want to you know concentrate on what I'm doing rather than having to fight off tons of mobs because I went into which building I think this building across here is it that one? Might have been this one. I went to one of these um, one of these buildings, and I went and um, broke about six spawners in about f in you know within the first three minutes of being in there. So there there are lots of things. I don't know if I really want to concentrate on that. So I might leave it on peaceful. I don't know. We'll see. But um. Yeah, so this is a Greg Tech type pack. Um, they want you to concentrate on getting stuff done rather than mining and grinding. So when you get your quest book, you start at the beginning, which is this page here. And the first thing you have to do is read this. You click the check mark. You get the four diamond hammers and you get a vo void world cake. Then um, you can repeat it once every hour. This is the next quest. And it gives you a free cake to the void world or overworld. You can also refill your cakes in the items indicated in their tooltips. So I picked a void world cake seeing so, you know, I was already in the overworld. But as they say, it's repeatable every hour, so I can always... Oh, there you go, my hour's up. So I can repeat it if I wanted to. And get an overworld cake as well. No, I didn't claim that, did I? I clicked back. Um, reload the quest book. I don't need to do that. So I can leave that. The next thing is iron supply. 
and it says ores in this pack exist solely in large clusters or veins. These veins are scattered randomly around the world and are relatively common. The scanner in your inventory can detect any ore within 16 blocks of you, so digging down and scanning should show you any nearby veins. Try scanning now to see if there are any surface deposits near you. The scanner does have limited energy, but you should be able to build a wired charger to gain the ability to recharge it before, long before you are close to running out of energy. In order to proceed, you'll need to locate a source of iron. You have a few options. Magnetite veins are higher up and contain large amounts of iron as well of some as well as some van vanadium and gold another good source of iron is limonite veins which contain several types of iron finally pyrite can be found paired with copper in several types of veins raw iron is simply is obtained simply by smelting iron a second time it has more durability than iron, so it's better for making tools, but do not convert your entire iron supply over to raw iron. The two materials are not interchangeable, and you'll need iron or raw iron as demanded by various recipes. And you get some coin as your item reward. Uh, what else? And furnace. We haven't gotten that far. So basically all I've done is just spawned did a bit of exploration made some torches and lit up the place and that's it but to be honest i think for now i'm going to play on peaceful until i get fed up of not finding not i i, I miss the um the 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 zombies and stuff and then i'll turn it back on on easy but right now i just want to explore and see because I had I had bricked off up here in preparation for playing because there's nothing up there there's just more rooms but um but yeah we've got raw iron here iron bars here I wonder if you can smelt those I don't know but let's go down into the basement because obviously it's easier to go down into the basement and let's have a scan. I found these um these blocks of quartz as well, which were pretty cool. I started mining, and then they've all you've got um oh mag magnetite that was something that they said. It doesn't ha this pack doesn't have um ore excavator, but you do get ore in gravel. And it's kind of, you can't really distinguish it very well from normal gravel. So this is gravel tin ore. That's normal gravel. There's not much of a difference, which is a bit of a shame. And like I said, I don't think ore excavator is in this, which is a, a, a pain. No, wrong thing. Wrong pickaxe. Maybe down here wasn't the best place to start? I don't know. Um, let's have a look. Scanner. We need the scanner. So if we... You right click, let it charge. Wow, there's lots of stuff around us. There's stuff right here. Okay. Um, shovel. That's gravel tin ore. You can't use the shovel. Okay, that's gravel. What? Gravel vandium magnetite ore. Oh gosh. This must have been what was right in front of the of the scanner. All right, if we use the hammer. See, this gravel's just going to get on my nerves. Ah, uh, okay. I'm liking this. Hammers are always good. Alright, 
there's not much this way. Um, yeah. I'm liking this. I don't really want to mess with monsters. Because I like to play mod packs to learn. I really don't want to... I don't like to be fighting baddies unless I have to. Although I might turn it on, I don't know. Because I might play two episodes and decide, actually, I really do want to mess with zombies. Because in my um, Peace of Mind series, which if you're not watching, you should be watching, that is uh, a mod pack designed for beginners. And you can either play it, you can play it in peaceful or you can turn on the monsters. And I'm playing it in Peaceful at the moment, and I find I really kind of miss <laughs> fighting them. And But it's only, it's taking me um, maybe about 10 episodes to miss having monsters. But it does get kind of boring. But I may turn, in Peace of Mind, I may turn it on and off as I see fit. And in this mod, in this mod pack, I may turn it on and off as I see fit. I don't know. Okay, so there's like now I mentioned there's no ore excavator, which you would have thought would have been ideal for this pack. Okay, we have seven magnetite. This has iron in it, this has iron in it, and the gravel one, there's gold, more gold, and some iron. Okay, let's go back upstairs. You know what, I'm going to bite the bullet, let's turn, let's put the mobs back on. Options, I'll put it on easy. And, of course, I've got to left it so that stuff can spawn down here. Let's see if we can nick one of these. No, nope. that's red. I will deal with it when we come back down. What's the worst that can happen? I'll get killed. <laughs> that's pretty much it. And seeing that we've turned the mobs back on, I need to... Oh, look at that moon. That is pretty cool. I like that. As you can tell, I get distracted very easily. Um, journey map. I need to turn on the mobs. Large icons in the mobs. Mob display. Close. Close. And close that. So then I can see what's around me. Because what we really should find is some sheep. But we will do that during the day. Right. Um, did I have any more iron? Not iron. Did I have any more... I may have smelted up all my coal. Charcoal. Let's get some more charcoal going. And let's smelt up some of this iron. At least. Is that not going to burn? No. I should have remembered that doesn't burn. Oh, can you burn? Yeah, you can burn planks. Oh, I shouldn't have done. Uh, really? Okay, um... Eight iron ore. Do I have? Did I pick up another furnace, or did I leave them all downstairs? Look at all those zombies. Well, there's two. Not all those. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Oh, it was this building I went into. I didn't realise that. Yeah, this building has a lot of stuff in the basement. And it has some chests that I need to go and look for because they had tons of stuff in it. But my inventory was full, so I didn't pick it up. Um, 
No, I didn't pick up another furnace. I should have done. Is this going to run out? No, it was a... Oh, that's going to work for that. Let's make another furnace. Or did I leave another one? I need this chest. But yeah, like I said, I haven't played very long in this mod pack, literally. I did about 20 minutes initially, and then I've come back in and done another 20 or so minutes. Well, it has to be an hour because that tech, that quest just um, reset itself, so it has to be an hour. But I haven't been playing for very long. Here's the other furnace. But it was just to look around, see what I could find, see if I could find a building to start off in. Because I didn't want to do a sky block. I'm after all the all the sky blocks that have come out recently, I didn't really want to play another sky block. And um I like the Lost Cities. Even though they are just covered in mob filled buildings. I still like them. Okay. We have eight iron there. Let's put that in there. And then let's turn that into iron. Oh, we got cobble in here. I haven't really looked to see what the other quests are either while we're waiting. Um, right at the beginning. Work tables are life. Okay. But we can't see what that is yet because we need to do the iron supply. Okay, I'm guessing early game is gated behind the beginning. So we have to do these. Um, so we need lots of iron. And Okay. So you can only either click on the beginning or end game or ye old coin shop. Okay, and you can buy... Okay, so you can buy things with the Omni coins that you get. All right, that makes sense. Heavy oil. Oil sands. Rubber saplings. So I'm guessing, you know, if you've started in a, in a sky block and you have nothing, then that would be what you'd want to do. All right, if we do that and... Can we burn the gravel? Yes, we can. And then after that, I'll put in the van, van, vanadium. Vanadium? I think that's what it is. Okay, you get dust. Oh, got chemistry in this too. And then I'm guessing you've got to smelt the dust to get the... Okay. It's got... Uh, actually additions, so you can turn charcoal into tiny charcoal, which is always good. Did I? Oh, I must have put that in there and I was going to burn it. Okay, let's turn, let's do that. Because tiny charcoal Tiny coal and giant tiny charcoal, that's a lifesaver. Alright, that's tin, gravel, gold. Let's keep the iron so that we can smelt it all. Two different types. One is Minecraft, one is Greg Tech Community Edition. Okay. Cobble. Gold. Right, that should... Hmm. 
we need 12 pieces of normal iron, right? Yeah, and 12 of wrought iron. Let's make another furnace. And cobblestone. I'll make another two furnaces. I haven't really looked to see what else is in the pack because... I don't know. I think I want to be surprised. Okay, if we put these in... It says raw iron is when you smelt iron twice. Right? Oh, that gives you iron nuggets. Okay. So then we could tur we can turn those into iron bars. Did I have? There's no more charcoal. And I don't think I've picked up any coal mm -hmm. yet. Uh, magnetite. Oh, there's more magnetite. Ah, lignite coal ore. Um, okay. Can I burn that? Uh, no. I'm guessing I need to, because I did mine that. So I'm guessing we need to burn it. get coal maybe I don't know it's all a huge mystery uh, lignite coal okay and then does this act like normal coal it does what's that van uh... see how many we get right so then we can take these out and oh we need to make no wrong thing didn't I put a, a um... yes I did put a crafting table over here because I knew I'd need one all right we put that there Did I? Oh, I didn't take it out. And then let's put one in. No, let's put four in. Put in the lignite and see what happens. I'm guessing we'd... No, we... No, we're going to get the raw iron because it said you have to smelt it twice. And you get raw iron. Okay. Um... It's daytime. Let's go chop down some more trees. I should make an axe. We don't have any iron. Oh, I'd have. Ah! Oh, yes, I do have sticks. Oh! It keeps it! Wow! And I was there lamenting the fact there's no tinkers and I can't keep anything in my, in my crafting table. But that's not true. Right, let's go chop down some trees. I have to remember I've turned the mobs back on, so I have to keep an eye out for them. It does have fast leaf decay, which is good. But, like I said, I don't think there's any ore excavation, which is annoying to me because I love ore excavation I shouldn't be so dependent on it because I mean it's not exactly a vanilla mechanic did these two trees grow together uh, not really but yeah I'm I might add it in but I'm going to have to go through the mod list and just make sure there isn't anything in it that is like ore excavation Yeah, that's thing. And it has that mod that 
the stuff that makes it lie on the mod that makes it lie on the floor, not too bad, but it's that flying tooltip thing. That tooltip. That's the annoying one. I think I might have to turn that off. Okay, let us. First of all, I need to make a pressure plate for the door. Because that is annoying. Um, the other chest. Let's put this on top here. And let's make some charcoal. See, I kind, I, I like, I like the whole first, you know, new game. You're doing lots of stuff. It's all new and exciting and and stuff. Um, all right, we have these three. Okay, so that doesn't burn as. That's not going to do eight pieces like normal coal. Okay, we've got four of those. We need more. Let's do that, those seven, see how much that does. And we've got charcoal in this one. Um, what else? So we need 12, 12 raw iron. Okay. Cas Cassiterite. I wonder if these are real names. I don't know. Some of them look like they might be real. Some of them, as you saw, they had a, a chemical, um... What do you call it? A formula for them. But I don't know if it's actually real. Let's put those in. Now is that going to burn all seven? So it'll burn six. Okay. It will burn six. Put that in and put in six iron ingots. And then we need two more on top of that. Can you turn the lignite coal into tiny coal? No. So obviously lignite is a real thing because that has a chemical composition. Okay, and well, this must be a real thing again, a chemical composite. So, I guess once it has a chemical composition, it must be something that's real. I'm not seeing any animals on the map, which is annoying. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen any animals apart from squid. So, does that mean that the animals do not spawn in the city? Does this have tiny progressions in it? Oh, I need to put this in the middle. Okay, I sent a search bar to true. That's better. Tiny, no, no tiny progression, so no cooked apples. Pity. Um, right, that's free. You've burnt that. Let's leave that there. That's free, so we need six pieces. Okay, put that there and burn that. Magnet as gravel. And then we can get a stack of um, burn, get a stack of iron at least, because it looks like we're going to need a lot of iron in this pack.
Okay, so that's everything smelting. Well, not everything, but a lot of things smelting up. And I should probably try to get make some more charcoal as well. Is it? Yeah, it's still daytime, but it's raining. Which means there's going to be mobs, but let's go anyway. I like the Lost Cities. I like the concept of the Lost Cities, where you just have loads of abandoned buildings. Come, hurry up. I should have done a better axe than stone. There's nothing around me. Those spiders, they're all in buildings. What, what is that? Oh, rubble. Oh! I probably shouldn't have... Probably shouldn't have chopped that down. I didn't realise. I forgot. I'll have to replant the saplings. And then keep it. Now, spruce, we must have a rubber sapling. We didn't get any rubber saplings. Ah, fooey. Oh, there's one in there. I think that was a rubber sapling. Yes. Alright, let us plant you back here. And remember that you're there. And don't chop you down. Okay, it's getting to be sunset. Let's go back inside and see if everything is smelted back up. Um, 14. Right, that's our big set. Here's our nuggets. Right, let's see how many bars we can get out of this. Four. And we need twelve. Yes, twelve. So we just need to burn two more. Nuggets there. Um, oh, we've got sticky resin. Good. Because we'll need that. We will definitely need that. I wonder what this has by way of storage. Charcoal C. Oh, carbon. There was an enderman, I just heard him. Okay, that's that. Okay, and we get five Omnicoins. So then we need to make an iron furnace Iron furnaces can smelt an item in 150 ticks, which is somewhat faster than the stone furnace, which takes 200 ticks. The fuel efficiency remains the same for all furnaces. So they want an iron furnace. Okay, we can do an iron furnace. I'm guessing that an iron furnace is a stone furnace surrounded by iron. I could be wrong. Iron furnace. Yeah. Put that there. And let's... Ooh. Oh, what the... Really? If I break this up, oh, 
Oh no, but he can come on this side. Oh god. There you go. Got him. So I didn't need to put all of this on this side. And I didn't even get a freaking ender pearl. Really? Stupid thing. All of that and no ender pearl. I should have at least gotten an ender pearl for my trouble. You don't think so? Never mind. Yeah, nothing nothing of interest. Um right. What was the next thing we need to do? Claim that. What's that one? Copper. And after that is Okay, we need to do the copper. Alright, what's this one? Work tables. If you cry if you try to craft each item you realise as you realise you need it, you'll go insane. It is recommended you use work tables to encode in production chains for things like tools, circuits, machine casings and more. If you're doing things right, you'll likely have a more a dozen or more work tables in short order. Load up the table storage with items storage area with the with necessary materials and batch craft items when needed the satisfaction of clicking one button and getting 12 circuits is worth the setup okay mining hammers mining hammers offer a relatively cheap way to mine out areas much faster they clear out three by three blocks and mine quickly stone is the cheapest mining hammer and you can use uh, iron mining hammers. Okay. So we got that. Starter tools. Okay, so that's why they have no war excavation, because you've got the mining hammers. Charcoal. Um, just melt some wood to get charcoal. Well, we can do that very quickly before we end the episode because actually this has gone I've done this a little bit longer so let's see what we need for a work table um, a chest trap chest and a book uh, there's books upstairs and I've gone and taken all of the stuff from upstairs really Oh, hold on. I think there's bookcases through here. Can I see any bookcases? Okay, I know there's bookcases somewhere around here. Right, got you. Oh yeah, you. Oh crap! Right, let's take all of you. The bread. I want the bread. Oh, there's got to be a spider spawner somewhere. I told you this place is full of spawners. Uh, where are we? Over here. Okay, well that was worth it. Uh, string, oh, we got the ender. Dark steel, ender pearl. Oh wow, an ender pearl has a... Really? Okay. But we've got some decent stuff in here. Um, okay, so we've got AE2 for storage. And we've got a diamond. Okay, I'm going to have to go and look for a book. So in that case, I'm not going to do that right now.
Although, is, how many different ways can you make a book? There might be a simple way to do it. Um, no, it's only the normal Minecraft way, leather and paper. And like I said, there's bookcases. So I will have to go and have a hunt around and break some bookcases. So in that case, I think I'm going to end things here. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching. This is, it's been quite a productive first episode. I'm glad I'm playing this because, like I said, it's something different. It is a Greg Tech based setup, but not as grindy. And I mean, like I said, there's loads of ores, as we saw, tons of ores and stuff. And, um, yeah, it's, it looks like it's going to be a good pack. So thanks for watching. I hope you have liked what you've seen. Please like, comment and subscribe. That really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.